chairman of the State Examination Commission. The crew of ISS 4849 is ready for the mission. We're ready to take the examination. That is great. Good luck. And you can uh, take your examination ticket, your examination questions now. All crew members need to sign on the examination ticket. Now you need to proceed, Kate, to the USOS. And we will be watching you guys during the entire course of the examination. So what is most important here is to act as one crew. Teamwork is extremely important. We will be assessing that as well. So we will be looking at every single detail 
at every step that you will be performing. Please follow the procedures, talk to your crew members. Do you have any questions? All right, then you're good to go. So I wanted to ask you about the flight program for your mission. Well, the first thing I wanted to mention is that we will fly on the new modification of the Soyuz vehicle, Soyuz MS. So in total, there will be three test flights. Uh, and actually, there will be four flights in total, and our flight will be the first test flight. So is it really more different from the previous modifications of Soyuz vehicles? No, actually, if you're familiar with the previous modification, I don't think we'll face any challenges. What's new uh, in the new modification of the Soyuz vehicle? First of all, we will have new systems. We'll have the satellite navigation systems, the propulsion system. We'll have two independent interchangeable manifolds. And, of course, this will increase the performance of the vehicle. TV systems will be new and so on. What do you feel, Kate? I feel great. Our crew is ready. Our training flow took two and a half years, and we're absolutely ready for the flight. You lived in the United States. You lived in London. Uh, and you have scientific background. So what do you look forward to from this mission? As cosmonauts, we use scientific hardware on board the station, and we also plan to perform several EVAs, and we will be installing an IDA docking adapter on the station. What kind of experiments are uh, you interested in? As you know, I'm a biologist, and I'm mostly interested in biological, molecular, biological experiments. And I hope we will be the first crew to determine a DNA sequence on board uh, the station. So it is all very interesting. Thank you. Do you have any other questions? Yes, I have a question to all astronauts. Uh, what do you feel a couple of days, a couple of weeks before your flight, and what will be your mascot? Well, it is actually going to be a very interesting stage in my life, and I'm very happy that my commander asked me to select a mascot for our mission. So I have selected the mascot that my daughter loves very much. I will show it to you during the press conference. Is it a toy or what is it? It is uh, a bear. So what color is the bear? Uh, how, how do you feel about your level of preparation for your upcoming mission, and what would you consider to be the most challenging level and areas of your training so far? 
I think our team is very well prepared. We've spent a number of years training uh, both in Russia and the U.S. as well as Japan, uh, in Europe and in Canada. So I think we're extremely well prepared for our mission. Uh, I think the most challenging thing actually is one of the most exciting things in that we have so many things that we're going to be working on uh, in the space of the next few months. We have the international docking adapter coming. We have uh, lithium-ion batteries that will be arriving on HTV6. Uh, and we have more than 200 different science experiments that we're going to be fulfilling during the course of the mission. So I wanted to ask you once again about the mascot. So what kind of mascot is that? It's a brown bear. Brown bear. It's a very small toy, approximately this size. So you're taking it with you? Yes. This will be the first flight for you, a new role in your life. What do you feel? We feel confident and we look forward to the successful completion of the mission. Thank you very much, dear colleagues. Let us wish good luck to the crew and please hold your hands. Distinguished members of the State Examination Commission, the crew of increments 48-49 is ready for the mission on Soyuz MS spacecraft. All crew members need to sign here. What has happened to your index finger? <laughs> nothing? Nothing? Really, nothing. Okay. Do you have any questions before the examination? excited to be back in the training flow. It's been a while, and I'm really looking forward to the flight again, uh, especially because I have such a great crew to be with. Uh, I think we'll have a great time in addition to getting a lot of work done. I believe you know all the questions, examination questions in advance. No, we don't know the questions we're going to be asked. We're simply preparing for this examination and they give us a preliminary list of questions. So which questions will be most difficult for you during the exam? We don't have such questions. We are ready for all contingencies and emergencies. Everything will be great. So are you prepared for contingencies on board? What will be the most difficult contingencies? Well, there are contingencies that are dangerous for all crew, for the vehicle as well. So for us, the most important thing is to detect such situations and to respond effectively to them. So which situations usually occur in spacecraft? Well, our spacecraft are very reliable. So you don't have any contingencies at all? Well, almost none. So the examination turns out to be more difficult than the actual flight. I really hope that it will be so. Are you worried uh, about your examination? Well, every examination uh, causes uh, some nervous feelings, but no, I don't think we're worried. 
I feel, I feel great. I mean, I've been learning for these guys. Uh, Peggy basically built the station by herself, and, uh, and Oleg has been there before, so uh, so it's great. And I had the opportunity to be the, the backup for um, an ESA crew before, so I've, I've had quite a lot of training, and now I just I just can't wait for the, for the launch day and finally being there on the station. Et en français, donc ça fait euh, des années que je m'entraîne maintenant, depuis 2009, la sélection d'astronautes. Euh, beaucoup de travail, évidemment, et j'ai la chance de voler avec des gens qui sont très expérimentés, donc euh, j'essaie d'apprendre de, de tous les jours, je regarde comment ils font, j'essaie de m'en inspirer. Euh, donc je pense qu'aujourd'hui, on est prêt à assurer le rôle de doublure, et dans six mois, on sera évidemment prêt à, à décoller nous-mêmes pour notre, pour notre mission vers l'ISS. Is that all Okay, thank you very much. And please hold your hands.